Guys, look at this. <laughs> I'm officially an old man. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. Look, we finally got our balcony back. They locked everything up because of the storm yesterday. But we're now in our first port of call, northern Spain, La Corona. Well, it looks like they're opening the pools and everything back up now that the storm's starting to go away. Hopefully it stays that way. Look at this view. Well, this is a beautiful city. We're definitely going to do a little bit of exploring. Just keep in mind, guys, while I'm here, this, this whole ship is my main focus while I'm here. Not really so much of the port. Look at Sonic the Hedgehog over here. As Lauren is not having it today, she said, we got to get off of the ship now. <laughs> no, I have to work too. How nice of you to bring me a hamburger. Have a fry. Thank you. Have a no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cut back. First of all, look at this, this gorgeous man. But what is this contraption that you this have here? This stabilizer that we do ship tours with. And here I am walking around with my little cell phone thinking I'm cool. <laughs> oh I thought God. I was doing something. Look, guys, I need to step my game up. Hey, listen, it, it is, it's a nice toy, I will say. Wow. It's nice. Shout out to uh, Cruise Tips TV. So Cruise? She recommended it to me. Really? Yeah, so Sherry from Cruise Tips TV. Wow, well, you guys heard it here. So while everybody's out playing in port, they're going to set up for the shows so that when everybody comes back, they have this new magical layout available for everybody. There's people here, but it doesn't seem like a lot. We should be out in about five minutes. So the reason for this giant cluster ball here is because originally they had two gangways that were supposed to be set up, but today we only got one, and you got 5,000 people coming in and out from this one area, so... Hey, we gotta make it work. Up this little ramp. <laughs> it's a little steep coming down on this one. Like I was saying, as you can see, you got people coming back to the ship on this ramp as well. Meanwhile, you have people getting off. It's creating a little bit of a, a little bit of a conundrum. So guys, just for reference, our room is somewhere on this side. I'm not sure which one it is, but either way, we're on deck five, pretty low. And then I just noticed this infinity pool up here. So much of the ship I have not seen yet. Quick walk through the terminal and we are officially out. See you later, carnival celebration. We have to be back on board by 6 p.m. In case you guys are wondering, it is 63 degrees here in La Coruna, Spain. Not hot, not cold, it's pretty decent weather. So the first order of business for us over here in Spain, a coffee shop with some Wi-Fi. <laughs> a lot of work to get done. Yes, what I'm talking about. Are you happy now, Lauren? Oh, she's ready to dive in. Go ahead, have at it. Well, guys, my little workaholic here has some editing and phone calls to make. Business phone calls. We got it working her way up. I'm so proud. So since Lauren is busy working on her own stuff, I think I'm going to do a little bit of exploring here in La Coruna, Spain. I do need to try to find an electronics store because it come to find out the reason my mics haven't been working is because one of my wires broke. And I think I'm in luck. Maybe they have it here. We'll see. I'm telling you, if I find what I need here, it'll be a miracle. We'll see in a minute. Hey, how are you? Well, that was an immediate fail. They don't have what I need. The search continues. It is supposed to rain here, and we'll be dealing with some more inclement weather like we did on our sea day yesterday. But hopefully it's not too bad, and hopefully it doesn't come too soon. This whole area, this city is beautiful. I have never been over this way. I've been to Barcelona. I've been to Madrid. I've been to Alicante. I've been to over in the Canary Islands. So I got to admit, the unfortunate side of me not really focusing on the ports of call and the islands that we'll be visiting, except for Tenerife. Haven't been there in years. Excited to go back. My primary focus is the cruise ship. That being said, I didn't exactly draw out a plan for La Coruna or any of these ports for that matter. I'm just kind of exploring here and there and just showing you guys all the pretty stuff. Now, however, of course, do keep in mind that this channel, Jay the Nomad, is not going to be all about cruise ships. It's just this particular series that I'm doing for these next set of videos for the couple weeks that are coming up. However, we're going to be checking out, I think after this, maybe the cheapest Airbnb we can find in the United States, or maybe we'll go on the tallest or fastest roller coaster. I'm not exactly sure all that is up in the air, but I do have some pretty cool stuff coming. Now, I don't know what it is about Europe specifically, but there is just a vibe here. It just feels so much more real than the United States, if that makes sense. I always say, after being to over 60 countries, 67 to be exact, I've noticed that the United States is truly the world's entertainment. The entire the United States, well, at least the more touristy areas like your Florida, New York, your main spots, Texas, California. Look at this. 
This must be the city center. This is a big thing that I love about Europe. Almost every single European city has like a city center where it kind of all looks similar to this. But then you have like the Capitol building and absolutely gorgeous. By the way, don't quote me on this. I don't think that's the Capitol building. I'm just saying that when it comes to these center areas, they always have like a government building or like an older official building that looks similar to this. These areas are just always the greatest. I wonder what's down here. I'm a curious person, guys. Don't know what to expect, but... Oh, never mind. This is... Entrada. Oh, this is probably for some official use only. So you want to know what's crazy? I don't mean to be deep or anything like that here, but I've been really in my thoughts lately, just thinking about my future and where I want to go and... It's very interesting. I always believe that you are a completely different person from the time you're 18 to the time you're 21, and then 21 to 25, and then 25 to 30, and then around 30 plus, you start to kind of get stuck in your ways around 40, where you are matured enough to become the person that you were always meant to be, or where life experiences have taken you and turned you into whatever it is that you are. But lately, I've been thinking about just what I'm gonna do with my son. I can't wait to get him traveling internationally. I believe travel is the greatest teacher, thinking about with Lauren and it's been a lot. And I just hope everything works out down the road, but I guess so far so good. Look, Lauren's back from being a workaholic. You get all your work done? Kind of, yeah. Kind of, it doesn't stop. It, the brand never stops. It does not stop. What did you get? I just choose, uh, I don't know, what, leggings, stockings? The stockings. I don't know what those things are called, all right? Look, guys, you, you got to be careful around these women. All they do is shop, 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 shop. We're supposed to just be doing sightseeing, not shopping. Okay. You're always beautiful, though. Sometimes. I got to admit, this is a really beautiful city. I was telling them earlier, it's something about Europe, Spain in particular does something to me. I could live here. Well, not this city, but maybe like a Madrid or a Barcelona. <laughs> no, there's no way. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Let's go. So you guys see all these people here? I'll show you a little trick. Come on, Lauren. Up we go. I know this trick. I use that trick. Go up one more. What trick? That trick. I know that trick. Tell me, what's the trick? And walking your legs at yeah, the same you time. get a free ride to the elevator. You don't have to wait as long as everybody else. It, that's if the elevator isn't full. It doesn't work every time, but sometimes. Get in here and drop our stuff off. Look at this. This is clearly like a, a sloth like animal. What do you think that is? Take a guess. It was a pig. Is that a pig? Guys, let me know in the comment section. I always get this wrong. Is that a sloth or a pig? By the way, I'm meaning to show you guys this. This is the Serenity deck, it's the adult only area. I haven't even been up here yet. Well, I guess I'm not allowed, huh? That's the problem with these doors. They don't work every time. Oh, there we go. I guess nobody's in the mood for the hot tub right now, huh? Just keep in mind, guys, I'm just giving you a little scan. I will be doing a full top to bottom cruise ship tour soon. Be on the lookout. This guy's trying to fight me for whatever reason. Look, I didn't do it, I swear. What's happening, Justin? <laughs> what up, bro, bro, listen, man. Boy? What? You came into that club and you did that? I was like... You've got the wrong guy. I don't do that. I'm retired, man. Yo, no, you got some b-boy moves. Like, I saw you do a couple stuff on yeah. your IG. I was like, okay, all right. I'm going to break dance against him. And then when I saw you come on the floor last night, firstly, I noticed you have <laughs> control. Yeah. Control. I'm like, yeah, he's, he's done this before. I'm a I think tomorrow's going to be the day, guys. We got to check out the yeah. boat roller coaster. I've been on before, but... I have no problem doubling back. Well, it's now dinner time. We're looking all shiny and new, and <laughs> I'm looking just a little bit older. No, you look gorgeous. You're fine. She's lying. Oh, they got variety night going on down there. They've got the pictures, they got everything. How's it going? Hey, you have good <laughs> And here we are, Tapanyaki. And I'm starving. Just confirming the reservations before we get in. Just to give you guys some clarification, this is bonsai, and then they have bonsai sushi, and then they have bonsai tapenyaki. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so for the menu, you just scan this guy here, and it brings up everything from all the drinks to the food that you're gonna order for tonight's meal. Just going over the details. We're getting seven courses. You can order either 
Okay, so I have no idea what she said. She's talking very fast and it is a little loud in here, but she said something about getting seven courses of food and we can choose any combination as far as the type of food they're gonna be cooking here, whether we want shrimp or chicken, stuff of that nature. And I think she said something about like, garlic butter rice. Japanese, hola. <laughs> it's my turn. I'm gonna get the filet mignon and uh, shrimp. How do you like the Medium rare. Actually, not the shrimp. Can I do the lobster tail? The yeah. filet mignon and lobster tail. Yeah. It's my birthday. We gotta do it big. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's like one hat, Shauna. Cheers. So far we have our raw spicy tuna and our garlic butter rice. Here comes the shrimp. Is everything going with that hot shrimp? It's hot, baby. <laughs> you, you, probably, you should probably wait for it to cool down. And ready for the steak. I cannot wait. You guys want to hear something crazy? Lauren, before she met me, never ate shrimp. Really any seafood except for fish, I think, right? Now she eats shrimp, she eats lobster, scallops, and all that. It's crazy. You're welcome. There's my lobster. Bring it on. Let's see, we're working with this filet mignon. Mm. Look at that lobster. Happy <laughs> Look at this, Lauren brought in candles and she brought a gift. And the balloon. Oh yeah, she did get balloons earlier too. Oh, thank you baby. So there's a little note here. In French, Bon anniversaire means happy birthday, je t'aime, I love you. Ta petite chérie. Little honey. Okay. <laughs> My love, I wish you a happy 30th birthday. I got two presents. Let's open her up. Look, I need these. Some socks. It's French, French socks. French socks. No, there is a French flag. <laughs> I don't know if you had to see the little flag on there. Okay. No, I'm not going to propose. <laughs> I'm not going to propose you. It's a box. In a box. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh! You're in your baby. New earrings. Look. She knows I like the little like small hoop earrings, not the big ones, not get it confused, all right? But these, I had my black ones, I lost them last time we were in, where were we at? Miami. Oh, I lost them last time I was in Miami when I was on another cruise, the Scarlet Lady, and well, now I got some new ones. Lauren, I know you're behind the camera, but I love you. I appreciate it, thank you so much, you're the best. And uh, well, now you're officially dating an old man. So dinner was absolutely amazing, what do you think? I think it was good. It was good, now I'm gonna tell you right now, this sake, I just downed about five shots of them in one sitting. But it's all good. Let's keep this show going. Guys, I just met the coolest people on the ship. Now, I've been hunting them down all over the place. It's a big ship, they've been hard to find. We got Jason and Kim, and they're subscribers of the channel, and they've been nice enough to buy both Lauren and I some birthday presents? You've got a birthday present, Lauren's just an extra present. This is amazing. Can I, can I you show? You certainly can. All right, look, hold on. We're, I feel like it's like Christmas Day. We have the scent pack? Yeah, scent pack. So you look, can because I, I've been dealing, I've been dealing with Lauren because we, she, uh, she got, needs this stuff. Don't worry, you've got to. <laughs> <laughs> Is this chocolate? It's yep. Tim Tams, Australian mm -hmm. Tim Tams. Oh my, okay. Say no more. There's Look, there's about 10 of them in there and they won't make it through the night. Let it, I'm going to hold off on this one in a second. I might cry. I got an Australian shirt. <laughs> we have to wear this tomorrow. No jacket. It's happening. All right, then I'm going to open this. There we go. It says happy birthday. Best wishes on your special day. It's not a special day. It's the big 3-0. It's all big downhill 30. for me from there. I got now exactly five years and two days until I can no longer just backflip on command. I'm not looking forward to that. Have a very, a very happy birthday. 
You deserve it from Jason and Kim. Is it Evers? Yeah. Forever and ever. The Evers. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I said let's keep this thing going, I was talking about me and Lauren. I'm actually going to cut this off here. I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my night with my girlfriend. Actually, she's... Some privacy. She's forcing me to do this. <laughs> Help me. I was trying to keep showing you guys tonight, but we gotta, we're going to check out the comics. It, and everything that's going to be after that's going to be on the Patreon. No, I'm joking. No, it's not. <laughs> they, they don't like that. They don't like that I have a Patreon now. Anyway, guys, seriously, but uh, if you want early access to the videos, of course, you can subscribe to the Patreon. It's not a big deal. If not, whatever. We still You're got plenty of videos. Something, but that's fine. Lauren, stop hyping it up. This isn't a pitch. <laughs> it's, a, it's a moment, all right? It's my birthday. She did it, guys, not me. And I didn't talk to her about this either. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. If you have any questions about prices or anything like that, then of course let me know in the comments. However, I am guaranteed to get back to you if you're subscribed to the Patreon. See what I did there? Oh my God, <laughs> you're worse than me. I'm joking. All right, guys, I love all of you. Take care. Have a good night. Take, Take it, it easy. easy. <laughs> Every time.